How's it going everybody? Upgrade Guy here. Now if you've watched my videos before, you know how much I hate the stock remotes that come with Android boxes. They are so trash, they're pretty useless, and it almost forces you to always have to buy a keyboard remote. Now, depending on your budget, that might not be a realistic possibility, as those remotes can cost anywhere from $20 to $50, depending on the quality that you buy. But after watching this video, you're really not gonna have to worry about that, because I'm gonna teach you how to use your phone, whether that's an Android, whether that's a Samsung, whether that's an iPhone, and use it as a remote, for your Android TV box or any other Android device that you have. Now this install process is fairly simple and you can do it in around four to five minutes. So make sure you stick around and watch all the steps so you can figure out how to use this app and this process to your benefit. Like always guys, smash that subscribe button down below. It helps the content out a ton. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click down in the description and join our Facebook support group where you can get personalized support by me and the rest of the community for any questions you have for your Android box. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, before we do any steps on our phone, there's actually a couple things we have to do on the Android box to prep it in order to get ready um, for connection to your phone and to be able to use your phone as a remote on your box. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go into settings. Now, of course, your box will look a little different. If you guys are wondering what device I'm using, this is the T95. I also have all our recommended devices linked down in the description um, on, from Amazon so you can get them super cheap um, and get it top working device uh, that we recommend and have tested. So go ahead and go into settings and your settings menu will look like this or look slightly different, um, but basically the same. We're gonna wanna go to device preferences and then go to about. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna see is see what version you're on. So this is your Android operating system version uh, and that matters just when we go into the app to connect it. So make sure you have that information available to you. Um, just write it down, whatever you need, uh, and then you'll be good to go. You're then gonna scroll down until you find build. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on this around 10 times. So it says I'm already a developer, but for you, when you click on it, eventually it'll say three, two, one, and then it will say you're a developer. So once you're a developer, you're good to go with this step. Um, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and press the back button one time, and then scroll down until you find developer options. Now, once again, this will look a little different on everybody's box, so if you can't find it right away, that's okay. So we're gonna click on that. We're then gonna to scroll down until we find USB debugging. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this is checked on. So you can see mine already is it is. This is what it looks like when it's off. This is what it looks like when it's on. So make sure it's on and ready to go. So now that we have all these first steps done, we can go ahead and grab our phone and get ready to install and set everything up to use your phone as a remote on your Android box. All right, so now over at your cell phone, go into your app store and you're gonna search up Android TV remote. Now you're gonna see a ton of choices to choose from. So I'm gonna show you the best one that I found and that's this Android remote from Control Your TV. You're then gonna click install and it'll just take a few quick seconds to install it and we'll move over to the app. Okay, now you're gonna go ahead and open up the app and the first thing you'll notice is all the different remotes that you can choose from and use on your device. So you just wanna select the one that works for you. So I'm gonna select this style. Now you're gonna to wanna to select your brand as Android. So go ahead and click that. From there, there's two options. Option two is if you have a Google operating system box. So you can choose that if you want, but we're gonna do option one for this video because it works on all devices. So press that. From there, you wanna select the operating system. Now this is where it comes in play on what we talked about earlier. So if you have Android 4 or 5, select the bottom. I'm gonna select Android 5 and above, which is the middle option. From here, we can skip this part because we have already set it all up previously to this. So press skip in the top right. And then you wanna select the circle with the two arrows going around so we can add our device manually. And you're gonna go ahead and press that now. Now from here, we're gonna go back to our box and get some information to input here. Okay, so now that we have that step done on our phone, we wanna move back to our Android box and we wanna go into settings. And then we wanna go into network and internet. So we're gonna go ahead and press that. And then we actually wanna select our Wi-Fi connection. So we're gonna go ahead and press that. 
Now, the information you need is your IP address. Now, obviously, I have mine blanked out for security reasons, um, but you're going to want to go ahead and write down that IP address and have it down so we can go back to our phone and finish up the last step we need in order to set up our phone as a remote for our Android box. Okay, and over at our phone, now where the IP box is, we're going to go ahead and type in our IP address. And once you have that typed in, you're going to go ahead and press done on your board and then press submit. From here, it's good to go. Now let's test it out. So once it's loaded up, you'll now see your remote on your phone and you can easily scroll and right away you can see some really helpful buttons. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. You can now use your phone as a remote and you can see right on screen as I click it, it's moving and interacting with the box just like it would usually. Um, and if it is a keyboard remote that you've chosen that has a keyboard, you can use that as well all the letter buttons on it. This is really as simple as it looks. It even has a Netflix button to interact with Netflix. Um, if you click it, it as Google Play, this literally has a little bit of everything. And the one thing I've really noticed with it uh, is that besides the couple ads, which if you choose to get the ad free version, you can go ahead and do that. Um, it really does work super well um, as far as a remote for Android box can. Um, because Android box remotes usually aren't always the greatest, right? Um, especially these uh, generic Android boxes, they don't have a lot of dedicated apps just to them. So this really is a pretty great solution, I find. Um, if I were you, I would install one of the simpler remotes. The one I have installed is one of the, the harder to use ones, um, just because it's like an old school TV. But maybe like install like one of the NVIDIA Shield ones, I think would be super easy. Um, of course, you have all your volume controls as well, which you can see me moving up and down there. Uh, you have your channel list. Like I said, ads are something that you can get rid of. Uh, but this really is just like a, a temporary solution, I would say, if it's, you know, if need be, you really, really do need a remote, of course. So this would be what I suggest doing. Um, I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Oh, one last thing. Power button actually works on the remote. So that's really great too if you can't turn off your box with your normal stock remotes. Um, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. It really does help a ton with the content. Our channel is growing like crazy and it's really all thanks to you guys that it continues to grow. Um, so make sure you keep supporting, keep subscribing, keep commenting down below um, what you like about the videos, where you're from, anything guys, I'm always here to help. And once again, make sure you check out our Facebook support group, free support for all your devices. You check that out and you're set for the rest of your life with your Android box. I will catch you guys in the next video.